So here we are at the worm bin, and um, I, I, I dare to say, is this where it all happens? Is this where it all happens? Well, Possibly. all of it, yeah. yeah. Pretty I much think all so. of it for worms. That's the for the worms. Yeah, this is a 40-foot worm bin. It's, it, I have no idea how many red wigglers are in here, which is a type of worm. And we really kind of harvest, we raise worms to harvest their castings, which is their poop, their poop. essentially. For uh, vermicompost. The whole goal for us is to, if you want to build soil, you need the things that actually go into building that. And there's these, there's fungus and there's bacteria and a host of other microorganisms. But essentially fungus and bacteria break down organic matter. They break down like pieces of poop. They break down uh, sticks and dead bugs. They break that down and they turn it back into the nutrients that ultimately feed plants. So for plants to be healthy, they need all these micronutrients. And farming typically focuses on the macro stuff, the NPK, uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So what we look for are what's going to build the diversity of bacteria in the soil. Because it's not just one type of bacteria, there's just you know thousands and thousands yeah. of types of bacteria. So worms, as they go through the process of breaking down stuff, they actually eat through woody material and stuff like that. They infuse in their digestive tract, they infuse their casting, their manure, with 48 different types of bacteria. Wow. That may not be commonly found anywhere else. So they have kind of like a magic host of ingredients that goes back into the soil. And then all that bacteria continues to go at, to work, breaking down the stuff that needs to be broken down, turning it into nutrients for plants. So like one, so as we pick this up, there's just, you know, hundreds of worms crawling through the top of this soil, right? Uh -huh. And we top dress this with, you know, coffee grounds and uh, ground up uh, 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 juice scraps. Juice scraps, and scraps. And, well, you know, yeah. Finely and, ground carbon, so that would be your um, and, plant material and wood and things like and, that. And poop, and then poop from the cows, which has its own level of bacteria on it coming from the rumen of the mm -hmm. cow. But so we go through that whole process and then they break it down further and release their additional ba bacteria into the, into this, into this, uh, the castings, and then um, we use that as a as an ingredient to make tea. Yeah, so you have to look at soil as like the the only living alchemizer on planet Earth, mm -hmm. right? There's something called the detritus sphere that sort of starts the whole process of dead things breaking down, being turned back into food for live things. And without that flywheel, we do not exist. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing that really makes us dramatically different than any other planet in the entire universe. Oh man, and we ignore it. And we do. We, yes, do. we do. Now we're starting to realize how important it is. And so now soil science is becoming a thing. People are really starting, like even like in the early 90s, we're, we, did, we know more about probably the surface of the moon than we do the complex nature of what makes happy flywheel circle type soil.